Hello everyone and welcome to another adventure. Welcome to the beautiful island of Popangan. We are staying at the Princess Paradise in the southern portion of the island and this place does have breakfast included so we're gonna go get breakfast before we start our adventure around the island. God these cicadas are so loud! want to explore around Kopangan, the best way to do it by far is by renting a motorbike and going all around. So how many days? Um, two days. And 250 baht a day later, we got this beautiful Honda Click 125. It's gonna take us all around Kopangan. We're looking to find the Hadrid South viewpoint. It's supposed to be a tall rock and it's supposed to really have a nice viewpoint. And all we found is this. So I guess this is kind of a viewpoint. It's just where the road ends. Google Maps is very lost. Um, it's saying that it's somewhere here, but there's no signs that we're not sure. So this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put up a drone and see how it looks. Just south of that viewpoint, we can find the Hadrid Wood Path, which is this path that you see behind me, and it goes further ahead. And it was actually go all the way to the lighthouse. So it's a pretty cool walk by this super nice crystal clear water here. We are now in the downtown Hadrin area and these streets that you see behind me and over here traditionally are super super crowded especially now during this week which is the week of Songkran where all the Thai people have vacation, they come on holiday, they come to the islands but as you can see most of this place is absolutely closed. It hasn't survived this current situation too well. We were able to find three viewpoints on Google Maps here in the Harid area, but we weren't able to locate either one of them. One we kind of found, but we're not in the same spot. And then the other two, we just couldn't find it there. There's no signs. There's just some really tiny deserted roads that uh, I'm afraid to take the motorbike on because they're not even roads. They're like, just go straight through the forest. So we're back at the resort and we're going to go get some lunch. So we spent the rest of the day just lounging by the pool and just time flew by. I don't even know where it went. So now it's almost uh, six o'clock. So we're gonna go to the Secret Mountain for a nice sunset. And about a half an hour later, we finally made it. It took us a lot longer than we thought it would or what Google Maps estimated it would take us to do. And it's very steep coming up here. If you see this uh, steep hill, but you can drive so you don't have to walk just uh, be prepared to go up full throttle and make sure you have a decent motorbike, especially for going back down. Hello, Mr. Doggy Protector. Can we get in? Chasing a bag, I'm racing the clock. Look at him flat, watching him flat. Used to see this in my sleep. When I ain't had shipping my thoughts in the car, I really was lost. Now I'm public with the sound. This was definitely worth the climb. While the first part of the day was a little bit of a fail here, a fail there, this is definitely a big win. Not only are we getting this gorgeous sunset here, but we also walked in on the making of a music video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to play it. I'll have to play something on top of it because I'm gonna get copyright strike, but the guy over there, but it was really, really cool to see 
you know, kind of the behind the scenes and how to they do these videos. Our final stop for today is gonna be here at the Pankeep Night Market. We're gonna go have dinner here and test out some of the local street food. Came here for Thai street food. What happened? Korean barbecue. You can always have Korean barbecue. Dinner was delicious, and I know what you're gonna say. We came here to eat some Thai street food. But when we saw the Korean barbecue, we just couldn't resist. Well, especially her. It's my fault. She can never resist Korean barbecue and I love it as well. So now it's pretty late. We're gonna head back to our hotel and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're heading to one of the prettiest beaches here in Kopangan, but one that is notoriously difficult to get to. It's called Bottle Beach and it's all the way in the northern part of the island. So let's see if we'll be able to make it. On the way to Bottle Beach, we saw this sign for the Tatsadet waterfall. So we're gonna follow that road and see where it leads us. I think we found it. We saw a sign just off the main road that said waterfall this way. And now we're gonna have a quick jungle trek. I think I can actually hear it. And this road is pretty easy. Uh, we only have flip-flops as per the usual, but it doesn't seem to be too challenging. And it's actually downhill. Um, it is, however, all sand and mud, so if it rains, probably not as nice as now. I thought the waterfall was pretty cool. It's small, but it looks very nice, especially from downstream. Also, I really love the hike and the motorcycle ride. It's beautiful here and it's up the mountain. It's a little bit cooler, so it's perfect for a hot summer day. The last five kilometers towards Bottle Beach are steep, sandy and inaccessible if it's raining. That's why most people don't venture out here. This bike is definitely not an off-road bike. <laughs> this route is uh, pretty steep and quite rocky. So if you do want to do this, make sure you have a good adventure bike and you know what you're doing. If you're not an experienced rider, maybe just walk down. And we made it. Welcome to beautiful Bottle Beach. It's quite a trip to get here, but if you do get here, you get rewarded with this beautiful beach.
do not try this at home. Even the locals are struggling around here. This hill is brutal. But the Honda 125 click soldiers on. It's crazy what this little motorbike can do. On our way back up, we saw the sign for a viewpoint. So we couldn't resist. We had to follow it. It's quite a bit of a hike, but it should be a cool view up here. The climb up here is uh, a little bit challenging now. You even have a couple of ropes here and there so you don't fall off the side of the mountain. But we met some people that said that the view is worth it. So we're gonna soldier on. Right in front of your Final little bit. It's very steep though. Listen for know, once. The view from up here is breathtaking. Holy moly. It's not an easy climb, especially that last little bit. And if you want to go all the way out, you got to go on this crazy crest. Looks very sketchy. There's no ropes, no nothing. Look at this brave soul on the edge of the rock in her flip-flops. I'm not that brave. I'm not brave enough to go over there, but I'm, I'm brave for this. <laughs> that looks super sketch. I'm not going over there. We need proper shoes over there, man. down better than the way up <laughs> this is so sketch holy you should put a rope here or something man the heck one slip and you fall for half an hour it's easier when you have the trees but right there where you're passing right now there's literally nothing to hold on to so it is a bit adventurous i would say <laughs> To say the Especially least. Especially in flip flops. We're always in flip flops when we need to do this like serious type of hikes. So how do we sum up the Bottle Beach viewpoint? Well, you can climb straight from Bottle Beach. Just climb uh, up about one kilometer and you'll end up here. Or you can take kind of the long way around on the road and then hike up from the side here. Uh, I think it's one of the most dangerous and challenging viewpoints we climbed up to but also one of the most rewarding so if you are fit bring some water bring some shoes uh, if you do come by motorbike make sure you get a nice one and yeah it's super super rewarding if you're not afraid of heights i think you're gonna love it and we made it here to the north part of the island. This is my hot beach and there's a very interesting tiny little island kind of attached to this one. It's called Koma and it's attached by a little strip of sand. Very very cool. We're attempting to get there now and I'll put the drone up. It looks absolutely stunning. I think we're gonna chill here for a little bit. Might have a beautiful sunset. And now that the tide is down, you can see Koma is right there and there's a little strip that you can walk on and get on the little island during low tide. You can just go walk to Koma. Just go around the sandbank over there. And we also have this cool hangout spot. All the fishermen come and unload their catch over there for the local restaurants to cook it for the tourists. This area in the north of the island 
is very cool for families. They're snorkeling here, kayaking, paddle boarding, walking on the beach, sunbathing. There are quite a few resorts just here and restaurants and they all seem to be open, which means this area is quite busy. We're gonna go grab a drink here at the Wangsai Resort and then we're gonna just enjoy this beautiful sunset. On our way home, we stumbled onto this monkey family. They're all chilling over here. The trees are full of them. I can see all the branches moving. So many. And the people are feeding them. They have all kinds of fruit here. And we're back at the resort. It has been a full couple of days. Yesterday we were out all day. Today we were out all day. This is our first time in Copangan, so we wanted to explore all the different parts of the island. And I think we got, you know, a good mix of each part. Traditionally, what was the busiest part here in the south, now it's a little less crowded. And where it was more chill in the north, now we have a few more people there. And we're also gonna end the vlog here. And as always, stay safe. Be nice to each other and we'll see you again next time. If you enjoyed the co <laughs> yeah. if you enjoy the content, make sure to smash the <laughs> if you enjoy the content, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel.